Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, I want to say we're at least going to make it to the town where the second gym resides. Some, what, 11 episodes in, we're at two badges. May, not even yet, because I doubt we fight that fight today. We'll see, I don't know how far we're going to get. Um, but the very first thing we're going to do is head back to... To, to, oh, what's this? Is this a fight? Oh, hi. What's up? Okay. It seems dumb to me that you have to, like, physically walk back to town after this. Because you're so far out anyway. Woobat! I like Woobat. Woobat is a cool bat. Uh, let's just water pulse it. Let's just get the free EXP. Go ahead and kill that Woobat, though. Oh, please hit yourself. I don't want to deal with your annoying... Woobat ways. Oh, a gust. Oh, does anyone feel that breeze? <laughs> You're dead. Okay, actually, can you guys hear the wind here? There's like a tornado warning in effect right now. I, it is windy outside. No joke. No joke. Anyway, that was a fun fight. Uh, less fun is going to be deciding if and who we may need to replace on the team to make way for our new fossil Pokemon. Uh, I don't know. Like, Goyrin is the lowest level, but Matt's is like the weakest. But Matt's is such a good influence on the team, and Goyrin freaks everybody out. It's like, I want to keep Matt's, but I want you to have a better move than Mach Punch, which is good. You know what we're going to do? At the very least, because I haven't used Thief. Even once, I'm going to go ahead and give... I'm going to return Infestation to Max because at the very least, that's a special attack, and he's a special attacker. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So that's what we're going to do. And get rid of... The, well, the 40. <laughs> it's almost like we should get rid of Mock Punch instead of Thief, because Thief is stronger. But... It is, it feels like this is, this covers more, we're getting rid of Thief. Worst case scenario, we just give it right back, because we have Thief as a TM, so. No big whoop. The other thing I'm wondering is, should we give return to Fatterhorn and or Chloeo? Chloeo has Headbutt, so I like that as a normal type move, because it can flinch. But Fatterhorn has Chip Away, and that's also pretty good. But Return could do, like, massive damage for both of them because they're that more normal typing if they like us enough. So I just don't know how how far into the game we are, if we can test that yet. Uh, this is... I wish I knew. Wish I knew. Anyway, let's go get our fossil Pokemon. I think there might be a little more to do on the Return. Um, I don't think there's much more to do inside the Glittering Cave. I might have... Let's see. All right, we're back out to Spikes. Ooh, we can get our Pokemon healed. Yay! A Firestone! That maybe will be helpful. All right, we are back in Ambret Town. I believe this girl's supposed to give us something, right? Yes! Rock Smash, man. Wish we'd talked to you a hot second earlier. So you didn't really miss anything on the return journey, except that... Uh, Axe grew a level and actually learned to do move uh, round, which I guess hilarious because frogs sing. It's like singing in a round. Yeah, that's there. They like croak all all together, right? But it was um, special attack, which is definitely better than a regular attack. We got rid of lick, not using lick. Felt like even though quick attack was another normal type move, at least it has priority. So that was sort of my reasoning there. But that's that. Um, in the meantime, can anyone learn Rock Smash? Because I feel like Rock Smash is going to be good against the Rock Gym. We are coming up on quickly. We don't have any fighting types on the team. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, so many people can learn Rock Smash. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Chloeo can get it. Uh, let's see. Obviously, we want someone who's more of a regular physical attacker. Let me just double check who that might be. Actually, I said we have no fighting type attacks. Matt has fighting type attack, so never mind. Let's see, though. Summary. Da -da 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 -da. Just double check. I should know this off the top of my head. We have, so they're 40, 25, 20, 46. Yeah, not bad. 
3628. Oh, wouldn't you know? Now we do not have a lot of physical attackers, do we? I guess. Hm, that's mostly Fatterhorn seems like the way to go. Uh, definitely not you. <laughs> and you can't learn it, so let's just give it to Fatterhorn. That's fun. I like him being the rock smasher. That's fun. Uh, gives him something else to do. And he's got the rocky helmet. Yeah, hilarious. So let's go. Fatterhorn. Contain rock smash. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, let's get rid of something. Uh, let's get rid of Lick because we're definitely not using that. We've gotten rid of Lick on both Pokemon without had it, so no more ghost type. Well, yeah, that's how it is. There we go. Cool. All right. Now, let's go get our fossil. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. I love how they just, like, skim over the fact that they can re revitalize fossils. Like, they're not just straight up bringing things back to life here. Like, what's stopping? What makes it a fossil? That it's so old? Like, how old does my, you know, like, Pikachu bones have to be before I can bring them to you? And you're like, it's alive! It seems like nothing should ever die in Pokemon. We got a new Pokemon! Which, hey, why couldn't I nickname it? Let's organize. Here we go. I need to name you something, Amora. Ooh, Amora. Man, I think we have to go all the way back to freaking Camp Freer Town if we want to go to the name checker dude to get this uh, name sorted out. Let's check it, though. Level 20, so that's good. Pretty solid. Um, serious ability refrigerate. Let's see. Let us see. Icy wind, boy. Okay. Uh, a lot of ice attacks. So we have a special attack. We have another special attack. Are you a special attacker? You are. So another special attacker. Takedown, not so great. Missed. Oh, prevent stats from being lowered. I guess that's okay. Um, I like... Oh, man. We haven't had a real... A lot of ice Pokemon on the team over the years. I'm not... I like ice Pokemon. And it's also rock, so... Super weak to fighting types, that's for sure. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You do. I do. Ah, man. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Capable of taking hits. Boy, we like that, don't we? This is our Pokemon for this town, by the way. The question is, and let's also, while we're here, uh, check it up. Yes, continue operations. Okay. Hippopotas. Let's check out. You're level 17. You would be a physical attacker. Strong physical attacker, too. My goodness. Ugh, good to know we still have people put us in the box. It, there could be an argument for putting both uh, Gaspar and Amora on the team in favor of Goyron and Mats, but... I still don't know. I still... Mm, I feel like we have to bring Amora on. It's just... It makes sense. What is the ability refrigerate do did i could i see that does it say it somewhere oh normal type moves normal type moves become ice type moves oh so we could put return on you as well oh but oh oh ooh, how very so takedown is in fact an ice type move how interesting okay that's cool that's cool god this is this is so hard i think uh, I don't want to put, uh, I just, mm. it feels like the right decision, but it also feels like the wrong decision, and I don't like making wrong decisions, uh, to get rid of, I don't want to get rid of mats, but it seems like, <sighs> uh, I'm seriously at like a, a quant, uh, I'm so stuck, I'm so stuck right now. It's like the beloved Pokemon on the team, the one no one thought would be around this long, the one not really doing a whole lot, but who still seems like it has more potential. Uh, I just, I just, I should, I should just do both. But then Hippopotas with a stupid sand stream. Ah, uh, curse you, Gaspar, and your dumb sandiness. It'd be so obvious if you weren't. <sighs> uh, 
What is Fats gonna think if we get rid of Matt? It's no good. It's no good at all. But if we keep going, all right. There we did it. We did it. I'm sorry, Matt. Let me know, guys. If you if this is outrageous to you, if you can't even stand this, just let me know. We can. Oh, I feel so bad about it. I feel so bad. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. We love you. We love you, Matt. Uh, okay. 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 We're just gonna. I'm sorry. We're gonna. Uh, hmm. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're going. Okay. 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 It happened. I'm sorry, buddy. We need to go to the name changer. That's gonna be a fun journey. All right, normally we'd go in here to go do that, but first we're gonna go all the way back to the name changer for the sake of the Nuzlocke. Derek is thankfully gonna just edit that whole journey out. I'll see you there. Okay, we found the name raider. We could give Amora a new nickname. All right. I think this is a pretty fun name. Uh, it is a company. It's a longer name. It's Lucas and Alexander's mom. But we're going to Lucasander. Lucasander. That's a fun sounding name, right? Lucasander. Okay. I like that. Cool. Welcome to the team, Lucasander. Ba-boom. Yes. There we go. It does fit nicely. I agree. It's a totally normal, good ring to it sort of name. There we are. All right, super. Man, I can't even tell. I feel so certain that Fats is going to... Oh, you know, maybe we should check on our berry farm for a hot second. Did we, did we harvest? Was there a good harvest anywhere? Boy, I don't know why I switched into that accent all of a hot sudden. What, what do we got? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Harvest. What's up? I don't know what Quaylot berries do. Oh, the whole tree disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Fun. Boy, the odds of me keeping up with this are not good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do not ever come do the berry farming thing. I'm much more concerned about how Fats is going to handle the departure of Matt's. Uh, it seems like it could be so detrimental to him because it's like they were just such good, such good buddies. Such good buddies. But, Lucasander, I mean... Ice, Pokemon, Dinosaur, seems pretty good too. Uh, I mean, it's not, you just have to make the hard decisions sometimes. Oh my gosh, what, what, why, hey. Oh, yes, I own this place. I own land in this region. Mm-hmm. No, okay, see ya. Whatever you had to say, it's not important. It's not important, also, also. You know what this guy facing outwards means? Let's see, what do you want? Ah, oh, it's your mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nope. Yep, okay. There we go, look at that. That means Tom, John, and, uh, Tarth. Seem to have, uh, found some common ground after all. <laughs> anyway, not important. We're headed through this cave again. Here we go, here we go. Connecting cave, come on. Shazam. Maybe Goyrin can get in a fight against the Zubats or something. There we go. I tell you what, Goyrin is on the hook now. The pressure is on, Goyrin. If if it's gonna work out, you gotta you gotta you gotta really prove yourself now. Where are we? Are we stuck? No, we're not stuck. Ah, 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 ah. Every time I come through this grass, now I'm like, maybe we'll run into a shiny Absol. That'd be the craziest thing that had ever happened, and it's so unlikely. Goyrin, go! Stare this thing down. Psychic v. Psychic? Can we... Should we? This is just going to be a long fight, honestly. We got away safely. Because Goyrin is swift. Like a cat, I guess. Oh, no. What? Go. Get out of this grass. Go. Go. Get out of the grass. Get out of the grass. Unless it's shiny, I don't care. Which is going to be... The odds are just so against us. Mind foo! Okay. That being said... We can totally destroy this thing. All right, bring it on. Go around and side beam this thing. Show them what you got. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kaboom. That's exactly what's up. That's why, that's why you're still here. All right. 
150 XP, come on, mind foo. Get your head in the game. My goodness. Anyway, so we're going down there. Realistically, weirdly, that also counts as Route 8. So we've already caught a Pokemon for this route. So we've already, we've already used it up. Another mind foo. We're just going to leave a trail of dead mind foos here. Stare him down. Stare him down. Don't let him move. Keep him fixed in one place, and then you side beat him. That's really the effect I think it's having when he's like, oh, this one has higher defense. Um, oh, oh, that was a cool animation. That little, like, roundhouse kick he gave, that was pretty sweet. Also, side beam, you did. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I really got to give more experience at 150. That seems kind of lame. Seems kind of lame. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like Goyred, maybe he, maybe the real effect he's going for is that he's like, oh, an ink A. That'd have been an interesting catch. I mean, we're not going to, but also pretty sure it's dark, so we're just gonna peace out on this fight. But those, ink A has one of the weirdest evolution mechanics ever. You literally have to hold the Game Boy upside down and like do something and like, <laughs> and then they level up. Or like as they level up or something. I forget exactly what you have to do. I know it involves literally holding your Game Boy upside down. And then it will evolve um, to Malamar, I believe is what it is. All right, we made it back. Let's head down to the beach. Here we go. At long last, we're moving past the silly town. We have our fossil Pokemon in hand. We are maybe going to get to a freaking second gym battle. At some point, see on to Route 8 again. Hey, ooh. Ooh, Rock Smash. I guess there's like good items in some of these. Go, Fatterhorn. Take out your aggression. Oh, it's a Pokemon. Okay. Cool. Hey. Dwebble. Mm hmm. My prediction, Dwebble, is that you don't have good special defenses and that. This side beam will rock your world. Oh, I was sort of wrong. Oh no, faint attack. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh no. Hold on. Hold the. Ooh, let's get out of there. Um, Axe, do you want to finish this off real quick? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Boy, who knew? Freaking Dwebble. Goodness. That's interesting. Oh, withdraw. Yeah, I'd withdraw too if all of a sudden you saw Mighty Axe appear. That was a dumb move on your part. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Water pulse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take that. Fare thee well. Look at that. The split experience for that was higher than the single mind foo fight. Okay. So, good to know that we should... Should we even potion? I don't even know. What a we... Yeah, we should potion, because there's trainers down here. Um... Man, Goyrin, what are you doing? I mean, you got hit by a, a, a rogue dark attack. This is just how things go. Oh, look. A ma ma Mago Berry. Do, do, do. Can we break you? Can we get something? Get a nice rare item. Smash! Oh, oh, it's Pokemon fight. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's another Dwebble. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I feel quite certain that this, uh, that there will be Dwebbles at the next, the next rock gym. As you would, they always like to mix it up. It's like rock plus. I'm sure there's going to be the fossil. Oh, I think actually the fossil Pokemon are like the, the leader's Pokemon. And then I'm sure there'll be Dwebbles and, you know, all sorts of weird stuff. That you're like, I didn't even remember that was a rock Pokemon. Oh, sturdy. They're all going to have sturdy, too. Hit yourself. Do it. Yes. Oh, man. So confusing when you're fighting against Axe. You think he's standing right there. He's standing so still. You think you go for the attack. He's not there. It's weird. He's, he's somewhere else. He's behind you. He kicks you in the back of the head. You're dead. Just like that. Oh, you want to fight? Let's go. Let's go. That's the dowsing machine for you. With this, I can find items I can I can't see. Oh. Thanks. Do you not want to fight then or Okay. Okay. 
All right. Thanks, I guess. What about, do you want to fight? Yeah, let's fight. Let's have a real battle. <laughs> That's what this game's about, right? <laughs> Not just fighting wild Pokemon. Ah, Genevieve, Sentat Wingle. All right. I feel like we should be okay to fight this. I mean, well, it's a level, it does have a level up on us here. Uh, you know who we should switch to? Let's hand out. Let's let's see how Lucasander takes the dwell takes the uh, the Wingull here. As Rock and Ice, we should well Supersonic, of course. Why can't we just send out and have a nice regular opening fight? Because of course not, right? Aurora Beam, Water Pulse. This shouldn't I wouldn't think do much, but I could be totally wrong. Oh well. Oh boy. Okay, this is not a good opening fight. Oh, okay. Real good, real good. We're losing to a Wingull. You know how I like that. I don't, I don't like that. It's not fun. Uh, we're gonna switch right out to, let's see. Let's go to Fatterhorn here. Get in there, bud. Show this thing what's up. Water Pulse, you kidding me? Got the confusion. Yeah, if you confuse another one of my Pokemon Wingull. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. And now, we chip away. If that confuses me. Oh my gosh. This is the most confusing Wingull in existence. How is this Wingull having such success against us? Snapped out of confusion. Thank you, Fatterhorn, my goodness. Oh wow, did you see how fast that thing died? All it could rely on was its confusion. Yeah, Goyron, getting to level 18, all right. Lucasander, first tiny experience in on the bat. If you, oh man, you're going straight down. Chip away, mm-hmm. All she does is confuse. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> I, oh. Please just kill it in one shot. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh my gosh, we're going to switch to halt here. This is the worst. I hate, I hate tactics like this by the computer where it's just, ah, it's luck. You know you're stronger, but in the meantime, deal with luck. Not very effective indeed. You know what is effective? Razor Leaf. And we're faster, so you don't get the weird jump on us this time. Goodbye, Psyduck. Gosh. Nothing about that fight was fun. Not one thing. You made our new, you, knew, you made Lucasander look stupid. You made Fats look stupid. Mm. Unacceptable. Now we have to super potion people. Because we're certainly not gonna risk any sort of weird situations here. Oh goodness, that was an annoying fight. Confusion! You, maybe you'll be a little better. Fisherman Wharton sent out Tentacool, eh? Mm, yes, Tentacool. Oh, Ten, this is actually great for us, I hope, because now they're part poison and we can part side beam them into a thousand pieces. Right? Right? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Constrict? Okay. That's, that should be, yeah, completely useless. Maybe we can't switch out, but why would we when we can just launch? Oh, this is a wonderful matchup for us. They're even a higher level, so we should hopefully get lots of experience. 271, okay, yeah. Oh, another one, excellent, excellent, excellent. If, if he has just three of these, we could probably get a level out of this. That'd be nice. Toxic spikes, okay, well. Definitely not switching now, though I don't think we were anyway, unless he has some weird trick up his sleeve here. Psybeam! Yeah, Goyrin! Finally taking down some foes? All right. Very good. See, it is important, too, to have, well, the, this game in particular, I think they put a lot of, um, like, because they introduced the fairy type, which is weak to poison, there is a certain amount of uh, then strong poison Pokemon you need to overcome as well because of course the game anticipates you using a fairy type because it's so shiny and new and as a result you must overcome that 
I think there's a poison dragon. Is that drag algae? I believe. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll send up my fairy type to fight your dragon. Ha <laughs> ha. Never mind. Sludge bomb. You're dead. I think only like one trainer has that though, and it's the dragon type trainer at the Elite Four. So whatever. Well, good fight, Goyrin. We made it all the way through. What about? Let's see. What about you? You're a big, tall one, I can tell from all my years' experience as a fisherman. Can you not just tell because of how tall I am? Would that not have been the easier way to tell? I'm... What a weird thing to say. Okay. The shell... Hmm. Hmm. Psybeam? Go. The shelters classically have high physical defense, right? Icicle spear! Mm-hmm. Oh, ow. Ow! No, stop. No, stop! No, stop! <gasps> no! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Everyone take it nice and easy now. We're just gonna side beam you and you're just gonna die. Right? That's all that's gonna happen. There we go. Everyone take a deep breath. It's your weird icicle spears. Mm-hmm. Got the level. Very good. Very good. We're all breathing. Fake out. Uh, maybe? We have... Oh, covet. Huh, covet. Interesting. 60. What does fake out do? 40. Mm-hmm. Only works the first turn the user's in battle. Mm -hmm. So it's either like this is the first move. It always, it's basically like a free bit of chip damage. Versus, we haven't used Covet even once, but I guess we... Uh, I just... Meh. Let's go ahead and get it. We may as well take the free damage, I guess. But it's not super... Well... I mean, it's free damage. There we go. Whatever. We're not using Covet anyway. Star you. Okay. What do we think the chances are this Star you has pursuit? I don't think very high. I don't think very high at all. And we're going to switch to. But it might have psychic attack. Mm, we're going to switch to Fatterhorn. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Good. Boy, if that thing had pursuit and killed Goyrin, I would be livid. Livid. Swift. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. Because you're shaped like a star. I get it. That's so funny. That's so cute. Also, chip away at the little gem in your heart. Rapid spin. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You have all sorts of... Ah! Rocky Helmet. I think it's the first time that's come into play. Which is... How did we not kill it? How did we not kill it? Whatever. Hit me with something. Oh, Swift again. Mm-hmm. Learned your lesson last time. Got too close to the Rocky Helmet. Mm-hmm. You're dead. There we go. Good fatter horn. Oh! Fisherman Shad. <laughs> Isn't Shad a kind of fish? That's funny. That's funny. And whoosh! Time change. New day. Almost finished recording yesterday's episode, but had to go to the gym. In any case, the first thing we have to do uh, right now is heal up our buddy, uh... Goyrin, who barely survived that shelter fight. Oh my gosh, it was painful to watch. Oh, that was a close fight. Anyway, let's see if this chick wants to fight. Hi, would you like to fight me? I'm getting tired. I think I'll make this my last battle, wearing the swimsuit. Great. <laughs> Thanks for the information. <laughs> Masquerade. Okay, so we don't want to fight this. We don't want to fight the masquerade. This water bug thing. Mm, you're going down, friend. Hmm. Masquerade. What an interesting combination of types, right? Because bug's good against psychic, and axe is pretty neutral. Rock to water. You're pretty good for water versus ice. Yeah. All right. Let's just uh, go head out there. Fatterhorn. Let's do it. You got it, bud. Yeah, oh, Fats is gonna get a level off this. That's what I like. Quick attack. 
Oh, the rocky helmet. I was like, why'd they take damage? Does quick attack hurt? Oh, no. It's because Fatterhorn with that mighty rocky helmet. Yeah, you immediately switch to your special attacks, as well you should. Also, oh, that did not do enough damage. Or didn't do as much as I might have assumed. Bubble? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. I was like, man, why did that do so much damage? Again, what a weird masquerade. Did surprising amounts of damage to Fatterhorn. Got with its crits, but it's okay. It ran into our rocky helmet. Ooh, oh my gosh. That was so much experience. That was like 600. Man, okay. Fine with me. I don't mind. I like experience. Experience is good. That's how I see it. Uh, can we go break this rock? Fatterhorn, break this rock. Yes, we want an item, a good item. Is there just a sign back here? What? This sign, which is behind the ability Rock Smash, just says, use Rock Smash to smash. Oh my gosh, that's the st <laughs> That was me spitting on the sign because it was stupid and a total waste of time. And I'm upset. Oh, oh look, Sillage City. Yay, let's just, okay, cool. We made it. Man, there was real, I was so close yesterday to, to finishing this recording. Oh goodness. Uh, let's see, is there, maybe we can get some free stuff real quick. Uh-huh, if you have a hold item, that'd be nice. Okay, yeah, do you have free stuff? What's the point of your house? Yay, a whipped dream, what is that? Is it for? Uh, some Pokemon like whipped cream and others like aroma flavors. What does that do? I think it increases the power of fairy type attacks. If I had to guess. Oh no, it's loved by a certain Pokemon. Okay, so I think that's like Swir Swirlix. Uh, I think. Is who likes that and then maybe they have to be holding that to evolve. Kind of like Capini and the Hardstone. Boy, Hapini, that'd be a fun one to catch, right? Or maybe it's an egg somewhere in this game. Ooh, what about you? Are you a fighter? Oh, no, no, look, fishing. I don't want to fish. Oh, can we, we could fish in this town, couldn't we? What do you have? Uh-huh, nothing. No, what about this? A pearl? Well, this is great. I cannot believe how long it took us to get to the freaking second gym. The pacing in this game makes no sense at all. Here we go. Gonna defeat Grant. So Grant, I don't think it's gonna be too very difficult because at the end of the day, we have Halt and Axe. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need, right? Mm-hmm. If you guys don't have free stuff, I don't even know why you exist. You look like you might have some free stuff. Oh, rest. There we go. That's pretty good. I know one. Uh... Oh, double whammy. Well, 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 well. Okay, so now we have a potential new combo for um, Fatterhorn. Rest and sleep talk. Oh, maybe we should pick up some new clothes here. While we're while we're here, you know, uh, let's go try stuff on. This is really the best part of this whole game, right? Mm-hmm. We all know it. No logo T-shirt. Logo. Two-tone bag. Zipped jacket. Ooh, we can go red instead of blue. That might look nice. Mm, king t-shirt. Well, we are king. Oh, we have the... Oh, look, it's got a pyroar on it. I'm sure Chloeo would be quite a fan of that. How does that look? Mmm, not bad. Not bad. How does the red zip jacket look, though? Mmm, I like that one. Let's go with that one. Oh yeah, we're styling. Very good, very good. Cool, all right. Wow, it looks great on you. I'm pretty sure it said 2,800 in the shop, but fine. 
Whatever. Cool. We look different. Please come again. That's salesmanship right there, people. That is salesmanship. Oh, can we get a bike? I think we can get a bike. Oh, look at item. Super posh. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is the bike shop? I know it's around here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Down the sail. Run, 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 run. Let's go get ourselves a bike. For being the 10,000 first customer. Oh, 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 welcome, welcome. Come right this way. Yes. Oh, what timing. You're our 10,000th customer since we opened the shop. Yes, you are number, wait, 10,001? Oh, if you'd been 10,000, then you could have gotten a bicycle. But as a runner-up, you'll still get a chance to win a bicycle answering answer. Here we go. Do bicycles come in more than one color? Yes. I mean, I can see them right there, right? This is, is this a trick question? Yellow or green? Um, green, for sure. There we go. Soups. Hey, we got the bicycle. What a weird store. <laughs> can you answer a question about, I mean, I don't even know if we need the bike. Honestly, once you have roller skates, that's like the best thing anyway, because we look at this. Can you do this on a bike? I don't think so. Look at this. Woo, woo, woo. Look at the spin moves. Yeah, look at these spin moves. Look at these spin moves. Okay, that's enough of this. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to call it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to take down Grant and his stupid rock gym. I can't wait. It's going to be a blast. Uh, thankfully, we have a new team member as well. None other than Luca Xander. Oh, man. Let me know. Say, leave, leave some, some uh, well wishes, some positive thoughts for Matt's in the box. And just so hope for hopefully Fats isn't, isn't too lonely. I don't, I don't want him to be like all upset with me because of this. I just don't know. I just, I feel like it was the right call. Uh, I'm still, I'm still torn up about it. But in any case, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will see you next time.